Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Mr. Electron, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to run an e-bike BLDC hub motor with a BLDC motor controller, no hall sensor type, which means I'm going to run this hub motor without hall sensor controller, since the hall sensors are not working. And guys, after that, I'm going to test it as a very powerful low RPM brushless generator with three phase output and convert it to DC for normal usage. Now guys, the BLDC hub motor has been perfectly connected to the vice. Now it's time to connect the BLDC motor controller, no hall sensor type. You can see there are only three cables and I'm not connecting the hall cables. So this side is low and high speed and this is clock and anti-clock. Okay. The connection can be any way you like. This is a 32 volts DC supply from a printer adapter and this is a multimeter link for which will be provided in the description. You can see the output 32 volts DC and I'm going to mark positive and negative polarity. So with that being done let's connect the BLDC motor controller positive to positive and negative to negative red being the positive and black being the negative. Wow guys, it is working pretty good. As you can see, it's making a sound because of this wire. If I remove it. Whoa. I don't know what happened. I think there was a short circuit. The wires are a little damaged from here. I will have to repair them. Yeah, but until then I can increase the speed at least. Let's test it how fast we can achieve. These are the disconnected hall sensor cables and this is the printer adapter. You can see 32 volts and 5.6 amperes. Light is glowing means it's on. You can see that it is running really good and I'm trying to stop it and it is just impossible. Very high torque because of its low RPM and large number of poles, field poles. Let's test it as a generator with the help of this 12 watts car indicator bulb.
So guys, now that you have already seen it generate electricity, now I'm going to convert that AC three phase AC into DC with the help of this three phase rectifier from a car alternator. Its rating is 12 volts, 90 amperes. Okay. Okay, 16.9 Current measurement Second try Okay Nine point six four amperes Okay. So guys, this what you see is a 1.5 HP DC motor. You see here it is written 1.5 HP. Okay. And uh, this permanent magnet DC motor has been connected to this rectifier which in turn is connected to this e-bike hub motor and I'm going to try the rope rotation testing with this to see if this hub motor is powerful enough and generates enough electricity to run this 1.5 HP DC motor okay let's try that out you can see guys that it is running the motor let's see how fast it can run okay Oh, once again. Okay. 